Hey, welcome to the process. My name is Dr. John Bush for the science of fantasyfootball.com. Check it out. Check everything out. This is uh, FFPC Best Ball Slim Draft Patterns Round 5 to 8. Obviously, you need to go back and watch Rounds 1 to 4, previous lesson. Uh, so again, come through here like to look at these patterns uh overall in the first eight rounds 38 wrs taken 31 rbs quarterbacks 14 are taken by round eight 13 tight ends by uh round eight so there's also a number that number is the number of each position taken this four rounds versus the previous so five to eight 17 wrs 15 uh, rbs 10 quarterbacks seven i'm sorry six tight ends what do we see quarterbacks have picked up we pick four in the first four rounds uh, 2.5x more, 10, are taken now. So we're, we've lost all 12 of the top quarterbacks. In fact, there is 13 and 14 are gone as well. So right away, if you're a late quarterback person, how late do you go? My data says don't wait past round six. So. That means I'm grabbing last boat out the door. Uh, let's see. Where's this right here? Okay, I'm sorry. Right there. Last boat out the door. Uh, round six. Burrow or Murray. And I really don't like any of those. Okay. I really don't. I think I could buy Dak round seven. He's the lap to me. I know some people Jordan Love didn't do too bad. This year, I think I could live with either one of those. Purdy, maybe, if you want to stretch it. But boy, he gets risky biscuits pretty quick at, after that point. So I think. You don't need to wait too late on QB, certainly by round seven this year. I'm thinking Dak right here. That's maybe love, but one of those two. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, that question. Tight ends? Tight ends have slowed down. So the public is thinking the top seven, and then you can wait a little bit, and the next six are grabbed. So the top 12 are gone by round seven. So if you're waiting on tight ends, looks to me like round five is about as late as I want to wait to try to grab my tight end one. So we are talking round five. What are we talking here? Round five. Who are we seeing? Najoku, Kittle, Ferguson. Folks. I'm taking one of those in my builds. I've been taking a lot in the Joko. Take a look. 78. Much better than the others. So I've been, been doing uh, the Joko. If I avoid the elite tight ends. Okay. So if I've done RBs and WRs first four rounds, I'm taking a tight end and a quarterback pretty soon, five to set somewhere in there. Tight end, round five, quarterback, six for sure, seven. I'm not waiting. Okay. Uh, if you're looking overall, RB start catching up. The round before, uh, more WRs. 
RBs have caught up here almost a little bit, only two down. Rounds one to four, the difference was uh, five. Now it's only two. So they're shrinking. RBs are shrinking here. Okay. This is the first 24 RBs are taken by round seven. First 24 WRs taken round five. That's what that triangle means. 36 WRs taken by round eight. Right there's the square. Okay. 12 tight ends here, 12 quarterbacks there. Those are the symbol of symbology there. Uh, so this is a real busy round, but coming out of round eight, I want to have a quarterback tight end in my pocket and then however I'm building on the WRs and RBs at that point. Okay, let's visit some of these guys real quick. Uh, the running backs get a little, little risky here. The pros are concerned compared to all the others, and that's not surprising. There is historical bias. In comparison, RBs, the later it goes, the more risky they're seen. And if you look at the projections, 58 and James Conner at 56, round six. James Conner, to me, is the bargain of this block right here. Okay, look at his calm data 54, Stevenson 42, Swift 50, Montgomery 43, Walker 47. So Conner 54. The pros think his projections is above 50%. So they were both saying we like Connor over all these other cats. Even though the public is drafting Walker higher than I would, given the calm. I would not be probably grabbing a lot of Walker this time. I like Connor. Stevenson's okay. Swift's okay. It just depends on your build at this point. It's hard to, if you talk in a vacuum, that's one thing. But remember, you're building. So depending on your build, this information is more or less critical on what you're trying to do. So you need an overall plan, right? It's kind of paint by numbers. You need to have it kind of lined out. You do not need to be guessing on the fly. I do slow drafts, so I have plenty of time to think. Okay, and look and think again. Okay, so uh, I don't do fast drafts unless I got it. I'm not going to do fast drafts till probably the end of August. If I do any, it'll be a few. Okay, and I'm I'm sharp as I'm going to be into August. I'm staying slow drafts all the way. Tight end, again, I do like Najoku, 69. Kittle, Kittle, 56 by Com. Ferguson, 59. Uh, Najoku, at almost 70. That's 70% 70, 70 what is that? That's uh, 11 weeks above median for tight ends. That's not bad. That's pretty good. I could live with him being my tight end one. Not happy. I mean, I'm greedy. I want the best of everything, right? Seven to eight. What do we got here? Tight ends. I know people are high on Bowers, the rookie. Uh, Goddard's 29. The pros like him a lot more than the calm data says. Hawkinson, I love. In fact, I have grabbed the Joku Kittle and come back and grabbed Hawkinson. That maneuver, I know Hawkinson's injured. Don't know when he's coming back. If you do that, you got in best ball, you, 
you probably going to collect later. So that's not a bad strategy. Quarterbacks, we talked about Jordan Love and Dak, the last two off the boat here. I'm not, I, I could see Purdy, I, you know, he had, he had issues last year. People were, I mean, I guess if I missed out, then I would take him, but maybe golf. I, it's, it's getting risky biscuits at this point. Arby's, Moster got a 53 last, last year on Com Data. I do like that. As far as, that's eight weeks of above average, above median consistency, not bad. Moss, Javante Williams, Pollard's close at 47. He'd be the next. Why? In the hair. So to me, I have no problem grabbing Pollard. Uh, there, or Moster. You probably can't get both, but you can get one. Probably going Pollard and try to pick up Spears in a best ball. Just did that. One of my builds. That's not a bad trick as well. You pretty much own the RBs at that point. Okay, 11 minutes. I think I've said enough here. Uh, I'll try to have the hard uh, copies of uh, this data you can look at. Again, it's going to change, right, to ADPs. Things are going to happen next couple of weeks. I'll run another ADP. But this is just my early look-see. And again, depends on your build as to what I'm doing here at this point. So first eight rounds we've covered here. Woo-woo, we're having fun.